Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, coming to you live from Croatia. I will be filming a lot more videos here in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon. Um, I will be coming to you from Croatia. It is currently August 19th today, so a little bit of a last of the past year for a moment um, because I'm not sure exactly when I'll have time to sit down and kind of have my thoughts collected. But essentially, I just want to recap the last few months a little bit. The last time that I posted a video. I, I had been in a car accident and my vehicle, which was also my home at the time, um, was totaled and lots of things just felt like they were going wrong. The timing was really chaotic because I uh, lost my vehicle, realized that I wasn't getting any payout from insurance, which I explained in the last video. Um, and then also at that same time, my partner and I were going to be moving from our winter rental back into our vehicles to live. Um, so now we only had his minivan to live in, which was fine, but it also had a whole bunch of last minute kind of emergency fixes on it. So we had to get that vehicle finished um, and then everything all in order to live in our cars again. And it was an incredibly stressful time, so I was just needing a break from vlogging and just everything. It was really chaotic, but I was just trying to figure out like how we were going to do life again, living two people in one car um, and still have separate jobs and go all the places that we needed to go. So everything worked out. I would say that the first few months, um, probably the first two months being back uh, living in my partner's minivan were really difficult. Um, obviously, I was just mentally like struggling <laughs> having lost my car and everything, but you don't realize how much of a change it is to go from having a roof over your head and a washroom and private shower and a kitchen. So the first couple months um, were really challenging getting reaccustomed really to living in the cars. Now I've lived in a vehicle on and off for the last three years so it's not like it's anything new but we were also expecting that we would get into the car kind of around the time that spring was happening and we wouldn't be dealing with negative temperatures or any sort of cold. Um, and it turns out that we just had really an unseasonably cold um, and like damp spring, which was really, really hard because we actually had our rental extended a month. So we were supposed to be in the van a month earlier, but we thought, or I thought that being that we weren't in the car till later, the weather was gonna be so much better, way more conducive to living in the van. It was not, it was really cold and I just struggling already then going into like a really cold um, living situation in the car. I think we had, um, I think we had a couple nights that got to like minus five, um, which doesn't sound that cold, but when you're in a car, and it's like May, you're really hoping that it's not in the negative temperatures. So it was a bit of a shock. And I think being cold all the time and then we were not cooking outside because it was raining so much and the weather was just like not conducive. Um, and also like, I don't wanna say it's laziness, but it's really hard to like find the motivation to cook outside when you're frozen. And um, yeah. way too cold for me freezing <laughs> like 10 degrees celsius and raining 
So it's a fun way to start being back in the van, but I've got some dolmades, some samosas and cucumber. I am taking for lunch today at work. And I found a pretty decent organic soup, potato and leek. It's vegan and gluten-free. These were like $2.99, which is much better than the $6, uh, I think Mary's is the organic one, but um, yeah. That's better, so anyways. Um, first night back in the van was kind of feeling like we were back in like October, November when it was rainy and cold. Um, I don't have to wear quite as many layers. It's not that cold, um, but I'm still wearing like two layers um, uh, to sleep. And yeah, it's like we wake up with a ton of condensation on the windows because um, it's still so cold outside that yeah, we can't keep any of the windows cracked open. So I am praying that the weather changes soon. So basically just eating like grocery store meals um, for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I was not feeling my best. I felt like shit. I was cold all the time. And um, basically my one escape from that was going to work, which was wonderful. But I mean, when work is like your escape from <laughs> feeling bad, like it's, it's not a good sign. Um, today is May 20th and it's the first day that I am wearing like a t-shirt and not more than two layers. I also have capris on, which is so nice and yeah. May 20th, and this is the first time that it's been like over 16 degrees Celsius, so taking advantage of it. It's also my day off, which is really nice, so. Also, look how beautiful my Christmas cactus is. Thankfully, by the middle to end of June, things were finally starting to warm up and it was just a blessing. Um, I definitely started to feel my mindset shift a little bit and at this point in June, um, we knew we had made the decision that we were going to be moving abroad um, and we didn't have like a set date and time, but we knew it was generally going to be in September or October. So um, basically now that there was something to look forward to and an end date with <laughs> living in the minivan, um, it made things a lot easier. So the weather got better. Um, we were able to spend a little bit of time at beaches and outside. Um, we still are like, we didn't do great with cooking our meals from scratch and whatnot, but um, we started to just like figure it out a little bit um, and make do so. updated um in this vlog that's eventually all going to be one bigger vlog um if you can't tell i'm sick i don't have covid or anything i just have a cold um but i've been sick for the last few days i took today off of work and um yeah um just thought i'd take it easy but it was my birthday two days ago um, so I'm officially 24. <laughs> um, the sun has finally come out. We've had like one week now where we finally had sun and some warmer weather, 
which is so nice and I'm working on a tan <laughs> um, but I'm also just not feeling great so I'm trying to like kind of take it easy inside um, but I haven't updated on here yet it'll be in this end video recap thing that I'm doing but we are officially planning on moving to Croatia I am so excited um, I've we've kind of been talking for a while now um, this we being myself my partner and his friend our friend um, so the three of us are going to be moving to Croatia together the plan is to go for a year and see how it goes and if we like it then we'll keep living there um, and if we don't then we figure something else out and make a change but um, I think the time has just been coming we've been talking a lot about just leaving Canada it's not a place that feels very I don't know like home um, life is just getting really really unaffordable and there are like a whole host of reasons why we want to leave Canada but um one of them being that we can go afford a beautiful home in Croatia to rent um for oh my gosh like crazy affordable prices and we will have decent weather all year long so we don't have to worry about living in our cars and renting in the winter and having basically like 10 months of crappy weather um so we're just really excited i am pumped i have a feeling that this is going to be a very exciting year of my life um i'm looking forward to all of the change that's coming I felt better getting into a gym routine. Working out helps so much with uh, your mental health, especially when you're in a car. Um, the gym is just a place where you can basically get out your frustrations or feelings in a good workout. And then that's where we have um, a hot shower and washrooms that are pretty private. I had a membership with Anytime Fitness, so depending on where we were located, um, like what job I was doing, what day, where we were, we could change gyms if we needed. So they also have private stalls, so you have a private bathroom, like toilet and shower, which um, is much appreciated over like a recreation center, public kind of facility. So. Things started to get better. Now, uh, going back a little bit to what made us decide to move. Um, basically, Canada has had very strong and strict traveling regulations uh, during the pandemic, and it's been really difficult um, in navigating that. So, essentially, things are not completely back to normal but as they lifted a little bit um, and made things easier uh, we kind of just saw the opportunity um, and i would say that part of us definitely knows that or maybe not knows but there's a strong consensus between my partner our friend and i that more mandates um, and restrictions are probably going to come back i.e. another wave of COVID, which they're already talking about in the mainstream news. Um, so I think just when we saw that there would be an easy opportunity to move, um, and Croatia, the reason why we chose Croatia, it's a place we've talked about for a long time. Both my partner and our friend have family connections and kind of ties to Croatia. Um, having family from there. My partner also speaks the language fluently, which is a huge bonus um, because my Spanish doesn't really help me there. Or should I say here, because in the future me, I will be there. Um, but yeah, so for those reasons, and then also because it's definitely one of the less expensive places to live, um, now obviously you can do the tourist expensive hotel eating out all the time partying experience which that's not what we're doing we are looking for a long-term rental um 
that we'll ideally have for a year. And then having a kitchen, we are going to be able to buy most of our food, hopefully in bulk and from markets um, to save on costs that way. And then just three people splitting like grocery bills um, and getting like enough food. We do know how to eat really cheap. When you have a kitchen, it also just like makes that exponentially easier. Where we have been living on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada is one of the most expensive places in North America. We are pretty much tied with New York City, places like San Francisco. Uh, we have an incredibly high cost of living where we were and it gets really, really discouraging and You, like, I don't know how to explain it without getting, like, worked up a bit about it because you just cannot get ahead. And unless you have a really special job, like, it's just an incredibly difficult place to find um, a home to begin with. And then when you add the costs on top of that, um, it's, it's just been so unreasonable for such a long time. And the reason why we stayed is because one, it's the warmest place in Canada, so we could live in our vehicles and try and save money that way. And then two, I would argue that it's one of the most beautiful places in Canada. So for those two reasons, we found ourselves there for the last few years. However, it's gotten to a point now where it's just insanity and we don't want to keep trying to like run in this hamster wheel of trying to like save and invest and cross our fingers that maybe the housing market will come down enough like yeah it's just it's absolutely insanity and i personally do not love living in one of the most expensive cities in north america i'm also not a city person so yeah but just the whole area like British Columbia, Canada in general is very expensive um, and it's not fun. So yeah, we've worked really hard for a long time, sacrificed a lot for a really long time, um, sacrificing living in homes or finding nice decent rentals. Um, and yeah, so this move for me, I'm not going to speak on the other's behalf, but for me, this move is really about having a little bit more freedom, being able to actually buy local food that will be cheaper than grocery store vegetables and produce. Like that blows my mind that I have to pay like even more than the already expensive grocery price for like local, um, like farmer's market food. I'm just, I'm so excited to be healthier, to have a healthier mindset because I actually have a home that is affordable and, um, and don't get me wrong, I will be making money in Canadian dollars while I am abroad. I understand that there is a discrepancy in maybe a minimum wage in Canada versus a minimum wage in Croatia. Um, however, I think that with the way the world works these days, people find strategic ways of um, saving and making more money. And a lot of times it'll be in foreign investments. I am not making a foreign investment. However, I am living in a foreign place because it affords me a much, much, much higher quality of life than living in my home country. So um, for that reason, Croatia is where we chose. Now, as most of you probably know if you've been on my channel for a while i did live in spain for a year um, i worked as an au pair and i have a lot of friends that live all around europe um, everywhere from spain to germany so the fact that now i am able to travel and see them much easier is really exciting to me and i feel like i have some really amazing connections within europe um, that I just didn't have the opportunity to really like pursue and to see these people when I lived in Canada. Travel within Europe is also much more affordable. Um, you can find flights or high-speed trains or boats or buses um, or renting cars all across the EU 
for so much cheaper than it would take you to fly from one province to another within Canada. Um, the cost, as you can tell, is definitely at the forefront of this move and this decision, but I think, like I said, I'm at a point where like it's been such a long time of trying to like make as many sacrifices as possible to um, to really find um, the place like to call home and that I want to stay and make a life, um, and it's it's been really hard to do um, where I've been. So this is why we or I chose to move. Um, my partner may have his own reasons. I am obviously moving to Croatia with him. We also moved with um, his friend, our friend, and the three of us have all come um, across together. We're renting a place together. Now, in this in-between period from when I've left uh, the island, when we left the island, uh, we drove with my partner's minivan across the province and to visit my family um, in Alberta. So I am actually here at my parents' house right now um, and I will be here for about a month in total. And in this time, I am packing for Europe. I am organizing a lot of my storage and like selling a whole bunch of stuff. I've got so many clothes and just like things packed away. So I'm going through a lot of that, seeing a lot of friends and um, people that I want to catch up with before we go. We've done some really nice hikes together, visited friends and family, um, and we're going to get all of that kind of checked off before we depart. Now, I honestly don't know if I'm missing anything in the story. I've taken some clips over the last few months um, trying to kind of keep you like a little bit in the loop um, with where we've been. I didn't want to vlog because I wasn't sure what to say. Honestly, for uh, most of the past few months, we've just been trying to like figure things out. I guess we will see how I feel when I'm filming the intro and outro for this video. Um, but I am very excited to be moving. I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity um, with what we're doing and with where we're going. I am excited for the challenge of starting to learn a new language. There's definitely been this kind of common theme throughout my videos for the past little while. Um, whether I've said it explicitly or not, but um, our dream um, is to, and this I will probably make another video about it a little bit more, but um, our dream is to not have debt and be really focused on home life, on family life, on producing and growing our own food to the extent like as much as we possibly can um, and not being like tied down if you will to a nine-to-five job we're both not necessarily career people we are hands in the dirt farmer kind of people um, and to purchase land and have a more off-grid home or eco-friendly home and space um, is something that I don't think should be this hard to attain, um, especially when we would be doing things like having produce and creating things for farmers markets and supporting community in a different way than maybe what like a traditional capitalist society says you should. Um, and I know that there are a lot of people that maybe have this mindset shift now and they're able to do it quite <laughs> easily, maybe with parents' financial help or um, having like a big presence on social media and they're able to achieve this quite easily. But I think what we found is that um, even with the sacrifices we've made so far, it's still really difficult to attain this um, land and 
permaculture, home, vision, and idea. I think for me it's also really important because my goals and my dreams since forever have revolved around family that as a family unit you're not broken up and kind of split apart every day. My goal is to mainly homeschool or have my children learning at home through doing as much as possible and really looking at how can you be the most self-sufficient and self-sustainable as possible. Nobody will be 100% perfect in any regards and you know there will be sacrifices that we have to make and right now there's an opportunity that we have um, to explore a new place where these goals might actually be able to become a reality. I am definitely not at a point where I'm gonna say Croatia is the place that we plant our feet and let the roots grow. I just think that um, it's important to see other places. So everything is just kind of gonna fall into place in its own way, um, however, however it will. But at this point in time, I'm just very excited to have a change coming. I'm excited to be in a new place, in a new space, somewhere where like the energy is totally different. Like you are crossing an ocean and um, having different history and different people. And um, yeah, there's just gonna be a lot of new things. So, uh, Without further ado, I think that's probably the end of this video. I just wanted to do a quick recap on what's kind of been going on um, in the last little while. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm going to be doing a QA and a um, at some point in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you aren't already and turn on the notifications because more videos will be coming your way and I do hope to be more active on this channel. So thank you all for your patience and your understanding through all of this fun roller coaster ride of my life and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.